raw milk carries a significant food poisoning risk with its consumption. You're all aware of this whole controversy uh, uh, between raw milk enthusiasts, such as our great uh, RFK Jr., and the rest of the healthcare professionals who eagerly want to stay away from raw milk. All right, uh, hello and welcome back to my channel. So you're watching For The Record, the show that nobody watches, but where I actually explain some really important shit. Today we're talking about uh, raw milk and why you really should not consume it. First, we have to define what raw milk actually is. So raw milk, is essentially non-pasteurized milk. Pasteurization is a process that has been invented by Louis Pasteur, a French microbiologist and a chemist, back in 1862. And like a real French scientist, the first thing he did is he tried to pasteurize wine. So what happened is that uh, he found out that he can uh, get rid of all the fault-inducing bacteria in wine without uh, affecting the quality of wine, and pasteurization was born in 1862. So, even today, pasteurization is still used as one of the safest methods to make our food safer, to reduce foodborne illnesses of modern equipment, of course. And in case of milk, the, the newest and best tre uh, pasteurization treatment for milk at the moment is the HTST treatment, high temperature, short time treatment uh, of 88 degrees Celsius for 25 seconds. So, if you talk about pasteurization to raw milk enthusiasts, then they will tell you that pasteurized milk is lower in nutrients and has less health benefits because pasteurization destroys a lot of the health benefits that raw milk contains. Therefore, you should only drink raw milk to get all those health benefits. The problem with this is that raw milk has been without any doubt shown to be a carrier of some of the most deadliest human diseases out there. Salmonella, hepatitis B, E. coli, one of the ones that made raw milk coming back into the media is the uh, highly pathogenic avian influencer H5N1, or for short, HPAI H5N1. Just in the last half year, three confirmed avian influenza cases were detected and directly linked to the consumption of raw milk here in the United States. So it's also clear that pasteurization will control the HPAI H5N1 virus. No serious scientist or healthcare professional is denying the risk associated with raw milk. Or oh, in science speech, we say raw milk carries a significant food poisoning risk with its consumption. So to me, that would already seal the deal, no matter what the nutritional content or what the health benefits are that I will get out of raw milk. If I run the risk of becoming seriously ill or even dying, then I would stay away from that. But hey, for everyone else who still wants to take the risk of being ill or becoming ill, just to get a few more nutrients in, let's see of the body of knowledge and compare the nutrient and health benefits of raw milk with the nutrients and health benefits of uh, pasteurized milk. So, first question is, is raw milk nutrient richer than pasteurized milk? And the answer is nope. The difference in nutrition between raw milk and pasteurized milk is pretty similar to the difference between keeping a Siberian wolf at home or a Shih Tzu. Although they share 99% of their genes, the wolf can potentially kill you, and probably also will, while the Shih Tzu might attempt to kill you, but it will be the cutest thing you've ever recorded on video. The nutrition content in pasteurized milk is not significantly lower than it is in raw milk. But let's go, go on to the second question. What about the probiotics in raw milk that will benefit your health? That's a big claim in the raw milk community, and pasteurization definitely reduces the probiotics or by all bacteria that are in raw milk that includes some of the bacteria that are deemed probiotic. But you know, the problem is raw milk does not have high enough numbers of bacteria to pass our stomach to be actually biologically active in the gut. Typically, we're looking at CFUs, colonizing forming units of 10 to the 8th or higher, and raw milk very often contains just half of that amount and probiotic active uh, bacteria. So one of the biggest hoaxes in the raw milk community is to claim that raw milk will attenuate uh, the effects of lactose intolerance. So that claim is based on a bunch of different uh, assumptions. One of the assumptions is that pasteurization will denaturalize an enzyme, which is called lactase, which is needed to digest lactose, and therefore you will find more lactose in pasteurized milk versus unpasteurized raw milk. That all sounds very reasonable on the surface. The only problem is raw milk does not contain lactase at all. So to summarize all of this, a new disease, HPIA, H5N1, or bird flu, that we do not have a cure for, that mutates really fast, that we know can affect humans, that we know is spread through cattle herds in the United States currently, that we know can be carried over to humans through raw milk. At the same time, there's no scientific evidence that raw milk has a higher health benefit over pasteurized milk. I think it is very safe to say, do not consume any raw milk at this point of time. Otherwise, you might get a wolf and you think it's a Shih Tzu. See you soon. Subscribe, hit like, I'm out.